Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Borwell. I am your host, Dragon. So the name you may recognize is a reference to George Orwell. And from what I can hear, this is sort of like... This is not dissimilar to... Uh, from what I can find out, this is not dissimilar to uh, Welcome to the Game. Where you basically look around online for information. Who am I going to be? Ooh! Who am I going to be? Uh... I liked it. Oh, that's a woman. Mean guy. Uh, John Tron. I don't know who you are. Yeah, I'll be John Tron. We now enter your email address. This looks really nice. Oh, now we're playing uh, Watch Dogs. Okay, I mean, obviously it's low graphics, but I mean, it's... I love the style. I love how stylized it all is. Nice, supposed to be. Oh! <laughs> Episode 1 The clocks were striking 13. You're online! Good. Call me Symes, I will be your advisor on Orwell, together we will form both the first and the last line of defense against terrorism. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances, selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Normally congratulations will be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there has been an incident. So let's get started. I've activated the reader tool for you. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access and to highlight when there is new information to be investigated. First, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, the National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. Okay, oh wow, it's going to be a lot of reading, so I'm not going to read everything. <laughs> Feel free to browse the National Beholder, I've activated the profiler, open the unknown person file once you're done. Oh man, there's, this is going to be really in-depth, isn't it? Oh, it even marks off what I've read. That's nice. Does that mean, like... Okay. Oh, bookmarks. Okay, four stars. Alright, so, uh, I guess this... The profiler holds all known information on those we investigate. The file you've opened is for our main suspect. Blue-haired woman that the CCTV footage shows before the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest record. Uh, how? Ah, right here. The highlighted elements in the record are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Hovering over data chunks will reveal their rel relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our server. What's, like, her name? Cool. Or is it telling me to go in order? Yeah, it's just... Pictures and names are crucial information for Orwell to identify a person. 
Information in documents can only become a data chunk when it can be clearly assigned when it clearly when it can clearly be assigned to a target person. Add the reason for Miss Watergate's prior arrest that has just been unlocked. We'll need this info to progress. Good. With the data you extract from the police record, a new document can now be accessed. Now let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidence? I do not. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and you will find see what I mean. Okay. The exact same location as the assault. And she turns up there right before the explosion. Surely not a coincidence. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. Oh yes, one who does street art by blowing memorials to pieces by any chance? Great, you have found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the info I already knew about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates that investigators, like yourselves, are the only ones allowed to access the documents of targeted persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on the Orwell, however some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. Okay, so... Anything here? Uh, colorful and heavy... I don't see that's... don't see how that's important. Quit my dull day job. Mm, might be... oh, the Utel account, yeah, yeah. Good, you found a chat handle. That will allow us to overhear any conversation on that account. The listener has been unlocked. New conversations will appear whenever they are started. Okay, I'm just wondering if I want to do this at all. Colorful inhabitant right behind the rainbow. I don't think that's important, but... Adult, quit the dull job. That might be important. Yeah, yeah. See? Find out what that job was. Hey, you know, this seems like a tutorial question, so... So, <laughs> you're under the impression that our wonderful Miss Watergate is really living in Wonderland? Somehow I doubt that. Call it intuition. People's lives are hanging in the balance here. What if you pass me something I cannot identify as wrong so easily? You've got to be more careful next time around. Okay, so yeah, that... that was, there is going to be wrong information to, to pass along. No communications recorded. Well, and what do I do? There's something more here? Ah! Supposed to go through your gallery. Okay. Not important. Okay, so, something popped up in the listener. This, I wonder. She stole a credit card of an unknown person. If you're able to find out who she was talking about, we could lock it for the owner. Oh, well, I know. What is Joseph Langley, my fearless attorney? Who talks like that? No one talks like that. Wait, she stole the credit card of her lawyer? Really? Well, we should be able to track the credit card of this Langley down and lock it for him. Done. No, really, no need to thank me, Mr. Langley. You have a profile for a related person, it can be accessed via the profiler. Data chunks will only appear for targeted persons and can only be extracted into their relevant profiles. Hmm. Anything that helps us get more info on the woman is surely good. Watergate Pharma Entrepreneurs that does ring a bell. Oh, 
she's done talking, so let's see. Arwell informs me you just encountered conflicted data chunks. Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with one another, those will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing the conflict, the others will become invalid immediately. I highly recommend that you clarify the context of the contact conflict before you proceed, though this is your decision. Once the information has been parsed, there is no way to reverse your choice. Oh, so wait, it's not her, it's going to be Langley? The case has been the center of media attention, acquitted of the alleged assault, with the case being closed due to lack of... conflict with one unknown data chunk? How does that make sense, game? Okay, nothing here, so I guess the company... Dr. Alice Watergate? Ah, Cassandra! Pointed to be COO of a pharmaceutical company, probably by one of her parents. Being an artist and a junior CEO seems quite odd. She also mentioned she had quit a dull job, didn't she? Also, I'd like to note these pictures don't match exactly. I mean, they have glasses, but here she's got blue hair. Let me just check the jobs. Current urgently looking for a chief operating officer. Or maybe I was wrong and nothing stays in the family. Ouch. This is probably what she meant about quitting her job. Good. So, anything more here? No. Let's go back to... Wait, this is telling me there's something more on the, this page? Yes, Alison Bruno's daughter. Ah, now I see. Keeping it a family affair. I guess that was what it wanted. Documents that you've already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. The National Beholder just published a new article. You may want to take a look and see if there's any new information available. Now hold on. What is the... With unknown data chunk. Oh, is this the... So it was just on the same page, right? Case being closed due to the lack of evidence, the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome. Hmm. I'll sit on this for now. Or maybe I shouldn't? I think she might have been... That her family might have influenced her. The outcome. Oh, now this is a severe accusation. Since so we already knew who, know who her parents are, we will immediately begin investigating these allegations. Currently, I'm thinking that Miss Watergate underwent quite a radical change. Don't you agree? Let's find out what happened in between these two lives of hers. What may have caused this radical shift? First, let me just check out this headline. Nothing here. Okay, nothing I can see. So, uh, I'll go with Cassandra's timeline. Birthday, that's good to know. Art, music, activism. That's not suspicious at all. Act, art, music, activism, what a lineup. 
Yeah, thanks. Nothing to click there, so... Well, well, Miss Watergate, we aren't too fond of you either. Okay, let's just keep looking. <laughs> With her lawyer? Yeah, might be noteworthy. Is there anything more specific? Not that I can find so far. Oh, the listener has something new. How sad. Yeah. Thanks for that. I just go to the bottom. Okay, nothing more here. Let's. What's this? Presence there before the bombing could be coincidence after all. I'll reserve my thoughts until you find more evidence. Who is Goldfells? We should find something that shows her current attitude and see if we're following the right person. Jeez, Cass, you sure turned on that dime. Man, Yosef, you gotta get out of this toxic relationship. Which means I wonder if her parents didn't buy her out of it and Joseph Langley threw the case just so he could be with her again, where they were already dating prior to that. Might be emotionally unstable if she's reliant on this medication. We're dealing with a potentially dangerous personality. I will indicate that to law enforcement. Yeah, but I don't know if she's the guy who, threw, who planted the bomb. So, what do I do, game?
Guess I need to find something on thought. What is the party? I don't remember seeing anything about this. Oh, that's the government. Alias name. You know people on the web, so many names, so many identities. It's always good to record every alias. Then we can match data chunks to target persons whenever they are using them. Oh, so that's what I missed. I'll get these first. Ah, here's that Goldfells fo 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 person. Whoa, boy. Seems we're looking at the right person. I don't know, I still have my doubts. What we've found so far is all good and interesting, but I think we should be searching for something a little more concrete. We have to dig deep. Who is Juliet? Do I know a Juliet? Really? Okay, this got surprisingly dark. Okay, so this is when I decide whether to throw the book at her. Okay, so she did get out of jail illegally, but I don't think she's the bomber. That's the thing here. But she is admitting her guilt. So, well, but then there's the whole thing about I'm, I'm only finding this out because I'm spying on everyone. Oh, this game is putting me in a bad spot. I'm going to show this one because it does admit her guilt but shows that she has altruistic reasons. So that's what I'm going for. Where did that come from now? This is perfect. We can arrest her and open the investigation again. However, we probably won't be able to hold her for long if it really happened in defense of this Juliet. Yeah, that is, I feel that's the right option here. Very good work. The intervention team is already on its way. We'll need to wait for confirmation. Next stop, Wonderland, right? Just kidding. Next time, be careful with finding the wrong data, though, okay? In Miss Watergate's case, it was not a problem to get her address with the help of local police due to her former record.
thought about what you said. Yeah, that's the police. No, she said BRB. That means you wait for them to say you're back. I'll inquire if all went well with arresting Miss Watergate. You did a job. good job in any case. Although we have no proof she's involved with the bombing, we might be able to question her. Despite acting in defense of this Juliet, she seems to be quite unstable and a threat. Okay, I just re received confirmation that she's now in custody. Very good work indeed. I'm curious about this thought group, though. Whether they... Oh, God. No, no, no. Take a look at the views. News. Two dead after second explosion. Is there a connection to yesterday's assault? Three injured once again. That that is horrible. Two dead, similar approach, same layer friends, so these assaults are connected. And if as if that wasn't enough already, Miss Watergate was in custody at the time, so that's her out of the picture, at least for this attack. Ah, this complicates matters massively, so much for our simple test case. I need to speak to my superiors, see how we are to proceed given these extenuating circumstances. You did good today. You can log off and get some rest by clicking the button on the top right of the desktop. Try and get some sleep, I have a feeling the next few days are going to be trying at best. Wow. All unprocessed data chunks will expire. Hmm. Let me just have a look around, see if I'm missing anything. Okay, I can't find anything to further on, so I will log out. Based on the data, you learned the following. Severe Cassandra is just being investigated. Hints second assault. Cool. But that is all for now. Uh, I'm enjoying this. It's really dark, which I love, which I like. There's a lot of thought and interpretation, and there is there doesn't seem to be a really moral high ground that I can take, which is which I love shades of gray. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.